Is the light too bright? Using the flashlight, it's after midnight and I just did my manifestation. It's a nice juicy orange moon that's full and it looks like it's pretty close. And so I just feel like it's just it's just a great night to get some manifestations in the air. So without any further ado, welcome back to we da 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 kinda yes hello once again thank you for tuning back in you already know we do the car chronicles over here and we like to get high in the car because you know we love the hot box so i just wanted to come on here i don't know just come on here and wrap a tape with y'all smoke a little l i just got back home and I just wanted to chill out for a minute before I go in. Turn on my channel and just see what's popping with y'all. What's going on? Y'all, let me tell y'all. Manifesting, okay, off the same exact moon yesterday. And, like, I was manifesting a sugar daddy. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. I mean, I like what's new. <laughs> but listen. So I've been meeting guys or whatever, but it just been some funny ass people. Some it's been some characters, okay? Shall I say I've been meeting. So I'm just like, oh my goodness, like these guys seemingly to be okay, but turn out as duds, okay? So I go on the river and do go my little walk and manifest it on the same moon tonight. I don't want to share all of my manifestations with you, but okay, let's just be vague, okay? And just understand, you know, SD is on the request line, okay? So, sure enough, it's crazy, right? <laughs> and I tell y'all, like, every time weird stuff happens, delays and stuff i know it's like a setup for something great so i'm leaving off the river rock right after manifesting and i pull up it's like a block i had not rolled down my windows you know i have tinted windows so they don't play that downtown so i keep my two fronts down at least midway um so i didn't i i was just riding a block i wasn't on the main street yet and so you know where i usually would roll out my window but he was in the explorer for the explorer and i seen him so i was I already knew like crack my window and his light was kind of on i said he brought the shine light let me crack my window i'm glad i'm glad i'm already cracking my windows and I said he brought the shine light on me, which he did, of course, when I turned my head, because that light is so bright. And once it's in your eye, you know, it's like that white light. And I'm driving, it's at night time. Like, I'm not trying to be distracted with that, okay? So I already knew he was going to shine his light, which he did. And so, you know, I did my time. So you can see it's clearly me with that bright light, you know. Of course, obviously. So he pulls up to the store next to me, but it's like a abandoned building and then on the other side of the abandoned building is the store in the parking lot so it's busy on a busy street so i inch up to look what he's doing and he's like parking like not even at the store but like he's about to leave out the parking lot again like he did a u-turn just to, i'm like well, is he waiting on me so i'm trying to figure that out figure out my next move and all this stuff and waiting on traffic he finally goes. So we're sitting there for a good like three, four minutes, right? He finally go. And so uh he's looking all in in my car, of course, and so I go and I pull up after him. Not intentionally, it's just how it wind up being. But but when I see him look over at me, I'm like, oh yeah, he was um he pulled up just to get behind me. I ain't stupid, you know what I'm saying? Like you didn't see me with the light, you put the big <laughs> what is it? Those uh star lights, what are those called? Those lights that be at the club. 
that was big. Um, oh my goodness. You know, like the Batman signal, those big lights. I can't think of what it's called. But anyway, searchlights. Um, yeah, he got the big searchlight in my face. Okay. Brighter than this light, brighter than my flashlight I have on me right now. Okay. So, anyway, I pull up behind him. Like, okay, whatever. That's going to get behind me, bitch. Get behind your ass. I'm riding. So, I'm riding. Another stoplight. Another stoplight. About two stoplights. I look over. And a car, a truck was pulling up, but he started looking back at me and was like, hey. So, it's like he already was paying attention to me. I just didn't see him. Because he was not in nothing to be seen in, to be honest with you. So, he's like, I said, Oh, hi. He was, he was like, how you doing? I was like, hi, how are you? And then for small conversation, just to play it off, I was like, because he had his head like this and looking out the window like, well, you know, I got my blood in my hand, but he had his head on his head or whatever. And he was like, hey, how are you? Like that, talking to him out the window or whatever. And I had made a small talk like, um, I said, what well, do you have a headache? Which I don't care, but just something that's the show I'm friendly. He's like, no. Uh, he was like, what you doing? Want to hang? I was like, huh? He was like, pull over, pull over, give me a number, pull over. So I'm thinking to myself, like, no, I'm not about to pull over, pull over. And then, so he pulled up on the side of me, like, go ahead, pull over, let's hang out, let's hang out. I was like, oh, okay, like that. He's like, okay, so he started following me. So then, after another light, it's like a, the third light, I let him get on the side of me, and I'm like, um, I got an emergency. I got an emergency because I had just thought about it. I was like, I need some gas. <laughs> and it's something I had been procrastinating on doing. But at this point, I really need it, right? So, I'm like, oh, shit, he want to hang So, I was like, thank God I did procrastinate. That's why I like to procrastinate on certain things sometimes. Because you never know who want to fill up your tank. You know what I'm saying? You never know. And sure enough, yesterday was a day. <laughs> so, he like... I mean, I got ready to see. I said, my car, I said, my car's about, I said, my car's on E. I said, I don't have no gas. He said, you don't have gas? I said, yeah, my car is on E. He said, pull up to the gas station. I said, okay, now you're talking. So the first gas station came, I see a G-Wagon. I'm like, oh my goodness, well, oh well. This is who's paying right now. Okay. So look at this, y'all. Ooh, and that light is perfect to show y'all, too. Look how perfect that light is. That's for you all. Look at that Christmas tree. What's over there? Because look, when they street lights come on, there's a freaking deer or something. <laughs> look at this, y'all. This shit right here, baby. This shit right here. It's so good. It's so thick. Okay. So, that's what we working with today. So, look. Um, pull up to the gas station. It wasn't even really no pump. It was like one pump literally left. So, I pull up. I had to do a turn around because it got on my other side or whatever. And... He pull us I said, <laughs> I think you can hear me wheezing. I think on we, I hear it. I hear it wheezing. He, um, he pulled up on the side and no, he got out the car or whatever. And I'm like, and he was like, would you need some gas? I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm about to run out of gas right now. I got nothing. So he stick his big bobble head in the car to see that I ain't had no gas for real. He was like, how much you need in there? I was like, oh no, I just need some gas. So I was like, okay, I'm about to judge him off this much right here. I was like, I either gonna hold him or we got a winner. So he come back out. He just stand at the door. I'm like, did you get it? It's packed downtown too. So the gas station just packed, so I don't see everything. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah. So I look behind me and I see the guy. The, he got the, uh, I see him 
Well, before I looked behind me, he was like, yeah, I did. And I see him getting some change. I'm thinking, like, what he getting change for? Because I'm asking him, like, the mom, like, what's trying to give some change? I didn't know that he was feeding, that he was on our feet, but giving change to the guy who was, he paid to pump the gas. Okay? So, I said, okay. I ain't seen my gas being pumped. And then, I seen it going past, like, 15 or 16. I said, oh, okay, he's going to put some gas in my car. I was like, okay, he was still going. I was like, okay, he put gas in my car. You could tell if he was going to keep going because if it was like slowing down or whatever, it was just going fast. Okay. So, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Here's the zinger. Here's, here's where we go. We go in. So, he's like, yeah, well, you know why? He's pumping the gas. He's on the passenger side with my window down talking. And he's like, um, he's an older guy. He's like in his late 60s, 70s. He was like, yeah, what's let's hang. I said, well, all the places I looked at the time, it was like, nine or something. I was like, well, all the places are closed, so I really don't want to hang with him. Um, you feel me? I was about to hang with him. Because it was late. And, yeah. So, he was like, oh, dang, shucks, it is. I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, you know what? Oh, shit. And then he was like, uh, oh, shucks, dang it is. And he was like, well, go to a, he was like, well, I don't, or go to a hotel or something, he said. And I'm thinking to myself, like, really? Like, this guy is just blaming. I said, oh, okay, I see what's up, he on. I said, okay. So then I was like, I think I played, like, the couldn't hear you role. <laughs> So, because he eventually comes around to the front of the car to drive us out. Then he comes back around like, yeah, you know, I really like you. I really like you. He was like, man, he was like, <laughs> come on, come on, basically. Come to room, let's go. I was like, let's go hang. I was like, uh, I'm going to drop off my grant. I'm going to drop off somebody's prescription. They got a migraine. I was like, I'm all right, so I'm out here doing it tonight, grabbing a prescription. I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> he was like, oh, come on, hang out. I said, like, you don't understand. I was like, and I started pointing in my car, like, I got my free prescription right here. There ain't no damn prescription nowhere near me, no bag and nothing around me. I'm like, I got my prescription right here. And he like, oh man, I wish we could. I wish y'all was like, yeah, I said, tomorrow, come on. Tomorrow, I'll call me this and that. Call me tomorrow. So whatever, whatever. I spent them. So just to let him know, like, like damn, I might could get a leak off of him. Like, as far as you know, him give me some money. So I called him just to let him know it wasn't a dud. And like, and he was like, oh. Hey, you wanted us to meet up? I said, Well, I told you. I said, Didn't I tell you? I said, I told you I had an emergency. Remember when I told you I had an emergency? So I'm using that <laughs> incident when I told him about the emergency was for the gas. I brought that up like, No, that was about me having with somebody prescription. So I was like, Remember, I already told you I had an emergency. And we didn't have an agreement before that. You feel me? So, um, where he didn't have a plan or anything. So, so, uh, yeah, we have a plan or whatever. So, and so, uh, okay. So, I say we have a plan. So, okay, we pull it off. Boom. I made some little promises. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I see you. Tomorrow comes, he calls me early. Like, I wake up around afternoon, right? Like, early afternoon. I say, like, 1 o'clock or something. I look, and it was, like, a missed call for him an hour ago. I'm like, damn, call me at noon. So, now, the only reason why I entertained him is because I need to get some tires and I need to get some shit for my car fixed. So when I see him want to spend that much, I mean, 
and he don't even know me. He just literally met me off the street. I was like, this opportunity, this is my manifestations coming through. I just manifest. I said, I need to be a little more specific. <laughs> I said, I need to be a little more specific in my manifestation. Like, let them not be no trick. But nevertheless, I know how to trick a trickster. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so he, has, he act like he ain't believe me or whatever like that. Yeah, this shit's so good. So he act like he ain't believe me or nothing like that, right? So just making sure I'm aware of that I call because I need this shit fixed. My shit just started grinding. My my tire just started grinding. Yes, the day before yesterday, because this shit happened yesterday. So the day before yesterday, my tire started grinding, so... I did my manifestation and then this happened, so I said, okay. <laughs> this is working. I didn't. It's not exactly to the T, but I don't know, y'all. We gotta be continue. I gotta I still need some opinion because I'm not sure yet, but we gotta be continue though. I don't wanna speak too soon, basically. Cause I gotta tell y'all something. I just it just dawned on me, but I forgot it is something else I noticed. I gotta tell y'all. So look. He called or whatever like that and text. So I think I had like a few missed calls throughout the day later on. I think I ain't come out to like 8 o'clock or whatever. And then I see like I got a few calls. You know, as I did, as I woke up like at 1, did my whole day. I probably need, you know, got ready to send certain dress and stuff. Probably like late 7, 8 o'clock is when I came out, right? So I look and I look at his, uh, at my messages and I see I got some missed calls from him. So, um... I heard him like, but um, maybe so many niggas around here. I saw look, but none of the niggas, but that one house just it's just really just one house and a lot of traffic. I try, I try. So, um. I got like a few missed calls from him and shit. And so I finally called him back around 8 o'clock. And I'm like, hey, you know, he was like, hey, how are you? How are you doing? I'm like, I'm fine. He was like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, nothing. And he was like, I called you earlier. I was trying to get in contact with you. I was like, oh, I said, well, I was at work earlier and I was like, I really can't have my phone hey, while I'm at work. And then he like cut off. And then he calls, he's calling me on the other line. So I said, oh. So I rejected that call and then I, it came back to the car that we was on. And I'm like, hello, hello. And I didn't hear him. I said, oh, good, the phone. His phone fucked up. So I didn't answer. He called me right back, of course, and I didn't answer. So he kept calling, kept calling, kept calling. And it's like kind of redundant like how he keeps calling and calling and calling then I say phone charging like five minutes after that after we hung up I, I text him like cause he just kept texting me texting me he was like I was like phone charging like that I mean I'm not about to pick up the phone for you I'm not about to talk to you or whatever, and um, because I ain't got my plan yet developed and ready for him, you feel me? So, this is something I gotta think through. But the plan I got developed, I'm not sure if I wanted to go through with the plan, I'm gonna tell you why. So, look, um, he texts me sometime later and say, Where can we meet? Where, you know, where can I meet you? So, I didn't answer that text. I'm driving for a while, a good 40 minutes, an hour. I look down at my phone. It said 15 minutes cost. I looked at it again, it said, it said 15 minutes cost. 
And y'all don't know how I can show you this without showing you his number. Uh, okay, so. Let me just save his number under something. I'm going to save his ass out under trick. <laughs> TRK. He don't even get the whole. He don't even get the whole shit. And this other number, I'm, I don't care to show y'all because I don't know who that is. So look, the other number that you about to see on here, that nine five one, that I don't know who that is. Probably like some spam type shit. So I don't care. But where you see the trick at? This phone. It say twenty missed calls. First it said fifteen. Then it said 20, like the first time it say, right here it say 7 missed calls. This one say 20 missed calls. So that's 27 motherfucking missed calls. 7 missed calls 11 hours ago. And 3, or 20 hours ago. Um, or three, 3 hours ago, 20 of them. 20 missed calls in 3 hours. And 7 missed calls in 11 hours. Too many motherfucking. So look, that's the motherfucking da -da -da. that's the drum roll right there. What the fuck? What the fuck, y'all? I said I was gone. I'll be like, meet me at the motherfucking mall or something like that. And let him hear my shit screeching. And let him make me pay for my breaks right then there. Like, I'm a, I gotta go straight home. Like, this just happened. I'm scared to drive. You feel me? And I don't have no money for this. It's gonna third. And I can't meet you at the room now because of this. This is that, right? Because I'm gonna have to take him to the mall. Give me some lingerie. You feel me? Or. Have to give you money to go get some lingerie. You feel me? But I ain't gonna really buy no lingerie. You feel me? Um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, I can, I'm gonna get like a fake bag and take it back. But if he even get, if he, because if he be, be that type of trying to see something, just gonna like show him a little something. One thing, I didn't take that shit back. <laughs> and, um, so that's how I'm gonna get him on that. And then more than likely he's gonna walk me to my car and he's gonna hear that shit screeching. And then boom, I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that noise? I'm scared of them. You know, I need money to get this fixed in the third. I'm not me in the room. I gotta go home now. You know, and I gotta do this shit early so I can, I can go to the mechanic. After the mechanic, I'm gonna come to you. And then make him give me some money for that. And if he don't get past those tests, hey, then scam part two ain't gonna be able to take it. Oh wait, that'd be part three. Yeah, if he don't, he don't pass. If he gotta pass A, which is the mall money, and then B, which is gonna be the car money, and then C, he think he gonna be tricking with somebody. So I make him give me some more money for some drinks. And then uh, I'm going to choose a place. I'm going to choose a place. If, if, if I saw he give me all this money like that, all right, then I'm like, okay. And he like 70 something. Like late 60s. He's a whole slow walking man. Like real slow. He got the car. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to I pick the place or whatever. You know what I'm saying? For my safety anyway. I don't give a fuck how old or fragile still. So look. So then I'll make him like, well, I need something to drink. I don't have something to drink. Da, 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 right? And 
I'm going to drop the innuendo when I am at the parking lot. Just don't know me just now when I'm at the parking lot. I'm like, when I'm like frantic about the car, I'm going to be like, oh my God, I don't even drink, but I need one like that. This is about to drive me to drinking or something like that. Just to plant in his head like she's not a drinker because this is going to take place. This got to this got to be planted in order for part C to work. And part C is going to be that. He want to trick so bad. He said he want me to talk to him. He want to taste. He, 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 wanna, uh, he was like, I want an appetizer. I said, well, I don't want to spoil your appetite. What did you say? <laughs> appetizer. He said, I'm going to take 10 minutes. I said, I'm thinking about that. I'm like, oh, <laughs> whatever, whatever. And so that was like uh, the first. That was the first night I was after I got off the phone. Like, you know, conversations coming back to me now. That was after the gas or whatever like that, and he wanted to hang out, whatever. Well, you know, well he his hangout, quote unquote. So, um, <laughs> so then Parsi gonna be get my money for the drinks in there. After the drinks, I'm like, okay, I need my money up front. I need my money up front, flat out. See, sometimes I'm gonna make it worth their while, okay. I want my money flat the fuck out up front, period. And that's only order you gotta do that in order for part C to take effect. Part C don't take effect, I'm taking my drinks and I'm gone. But if you give my money or not, nah, this is the plan for part C, ladies. So, part C. I'm gonna be like, oh, drinking, drinking, drinking. And I always drink water, so I used to have to use the bathroom anyway. You feel me? I swear. <laughs> That's why I really like to go nowhere. If there ain't no bathroom around, guarantee, like, I don't go out and outdoor shit. Like, my shit gotta be where some bathrooms around. I have to pee in life. I always drink fucking water. Like, okay. So, I'm gonna be like, make my drink, watch some TV, have some music on. Having a talk with him. Hold on, wait a second. Let me get my drink on. I'm not a drinker, so I sip kind of slow. Brrr, no second in you window, like nigga. Uh, uh, I don't handle my liquor well. Like that, right? So then. <laughs> Now, this is the shit go down. If I even have the guts to do the shit, y'all, because I've been spending this old man all. Even today, I've been spending his old. It's because of what he's been calling y'all. Uh, that's all I think. I'm just telling y'all the plan, but I don't think I'm going to go through this shit because I don't know. I might go through the mall. I think I might go through plan A and B. I might have to skip C. But ski C is going to bring in the room, the hole, and the money, money. You feel me? Hey, man. But I like the way he spins, though. You feel me? I got a, over half a tank of gas in my car right now. Like, you feel me? Like, and so I did use the same orange, beautiful moon to manifest again, y'all. So look, right now, <laughs> this nigga is going. To, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Then I wash my hands. I'm gonna pour some of my drink out and fill it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have a, when I first get in the room anyway, I'm gonna have a water bottle. I'm gonna plant a water bottle somewhere in the, in the bathroom, okay? You gotta do that. That's the that's the first plan of action. In order for C to also go right, I gotta plant a water bottle in there somewhere, okay? Like under that tile or something like that. Somewhere so somewhere, I don't know. But that's gotta be done. So I'm using the bathroom, whatever like that, and I'm gonna be pouring out some of that liquor, you know, filling up with water, this and the third. And come back out drinking it's not there pour me up some more cups so it gotta be believable right after a while you know i see another 30 minutes go by 40 minutes go by i gotta use the bathroom again dump it out fill it back up with, you know what i'm saying make it seem like i'm getting fucked up wasted like go, i'm gonna have him buy some tequila so it could be like a half a bottle of tequila gone so make it believable right then I'm gonna be like, oh, my hair. You know what I'm saying? I can like start with the head nausea. You know, you know the sickness and shit. 
go in the bathroom. Like, oh no, my stomach. Oh, I don't feel good. Wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. Put the cup down. Like, oh. Lay down. Like, I'm hot. Like, like that. Like, you feel me? Like, oh, how did you do this? Mm, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, mm. I gotta go to the bathroom, go in there, fake throw up, had a water, blew, had a noise, sound effect, you know, lock the doors, of course. Throw up on his ass for being a fucking horn dog. Could be coming at me like this, you feel me? But not get, for not just, you know what I'm saying, once in time, he was trying to jump in my pants already. Yes, he's a great guy for spending money. That's the great part. But the bad part is he, he don't want to spend time. Time and money counts, okay? You don't just get in the girl's pants like that. Even though you never could. But I don't see why he think he tried to. I think he tried to pop a pill. I might pop a pill on you, nigga. Sign me in that shit. Then, okay? <laughs> hey, sign me in that shit, motherfucker. You ain't about to pop on me. Everybody else get bust. Uh-uh. Mm, won't happen, Captain. Because then I have to live with the daggone thing better than my mind about a man croaking. You feel me? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> For real. So, no, 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 no. When we bust enough, no shots, buddy. Yeah, at all. At all. Or popping no blue pills. Or whatever. So, look. <laughs> That's gonna be all she wrote. She gotta go. Who's gonna, gonna try to date with a girl or be with a girl if she had to throw up on her and just threw up in her mouth? Like, and she's woozy and sick. Uh, hello, party's over. Paid in full, okay. And then he gonna I'm gonna still keep his ass around, still keep him one more, and still then pay more, okay? Because he gonna still want to see that lingerie. Mm hmm. And all of that. So, yeah. That's how he about to get played. So, yeah. I manifested it. But then I had to manifest none of these little horn dog tricks, too. I have to. I have to get better with that, though. Okay? But at the same time, y'all. Hmm. How can this work? You know what call me all that motherfucking time? Many times? Like, that shit crazy. Like, within 12 fucking hours. Less than 12 hours. Hey, that shit creepy, yo. That's the only thing that made me like want to be hesitant. Like, mm mm. But yeah, it'd be funny if I could, though. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and move on. But somebody else, maybe, but that's not crazy like that. You feel me? I should don't make a meet me. I should at least do plan A and B, don't meet me at the mall. Do the whole break thing. Now that I think I damn gonna do. I don't give a fuck 20 cars or not, nigga. Meet me at the motherfucking mall. Come on, where can we meet? The mall. It's gonna be early in the motherfucking daytime, like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, early as heck, at the motherfucking mall. To, then I gotta go to get my shit fixed so I can meet her later on. Not. Okay, if I done met up with you after that, then after the little 20 twinkie, he gonna trust me to meet up with him for that, too. Fuck that shit, that nigga for too weird for me. But yeah, it's a funny story to tell anyway. There's some funny shit happened. The end, I went to see my homeboy. He owned him a, um, a barbecue restaurant. And I'm chilling with him or whatever like that. We talking or whatever. I'm telling him about some shit with the fan bands or shit that's been going on or whatever. Well, I don't even consider family. Just some motherfuckers that just so happen to have the same DNA as I do. Um, share the same genetics, okay? Um, I'm chilling with him. One of his customers come. One of his customers come and he's like, oh, hello, pretty lady just on the third. You know me, I'm turning it on. See, he don't, the guy who on the barbecue store, he don't know me. Like, he just, he give me more food and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's my buddy, whatever. So, 
He like, uh, he don't see me turn on like that because I was in a regular yard. We talk about all sorts of deep stuff, like all types of stuff. But he don't hear me turn on the sassy me. So he, I'm doing that when I'm, or whatever. And so they're having a conversation. And then before he leaves, he's all like, yes, and you are so beautiful. You are so pretty. But he didn't ask for the number. So Oprah was like, yeah, he's diff definitely wanted you. I'm like, all right, but he didn't ask for the number. I said, I'm not giving him mine or whatever. He's like, right, right, right. And I'm like, uh, I said, I'm going to have to come over here more often. I said, you got the SDs going through there. He's like, you like, would be a whole bunch of old men with money coming up here. And I was like, shoot. I said, you know what? You hustling and so can I. He started laughing. I said, you about to see me more often than later, okay? More often than not. For real. <laughs> but that's funny, though. And then I had it dawned on me like I cause the guy was there for a good while just talking to him. So I get to check him out, look at his clothes, read his the brand he ran is on the third, is all this stuff like that. So I'm reading the, what his, his words say on his hat and his colors. He walked away this and the third. I'm just checking him out, ring, I'm looking for rings, something third. I'm looking for a lot of stuff. And his car, all this stuff. So and he complimented. So I thought about it and I'm like, dang, he has one number. I'm like, but whatever. I was like, um, I said, I said, yes, I, I am looking for something like that, but one that's not shy to ask for my number. Why today I woke up this morning and dawned on me? I said, I met him before. His shirt and his hat and him, period. Like, like I know him somewhere, but I didn't think that. I'm like, but where I know this man from? You feel me? It's like, where I know him from? I tried to sugar baby his ass, but he had asked me a question that I didn't know how to answer, and I failed a long time. And he was like, do you talk to other guys? I was like, I mean, I have other guys that's interested, whatever like that. I make, I said I have friends and I'm there, which I should have did, because that's why he was like, no, which I spoke to his ass. No, I make him think he was the only one. But whatever, you let me learn. But I was like, oh. I already really done that, which means Sugar Baby Girl is getting tight out here. <laughs> I know. But I can't believe I seen his ass again. I was like, I was wondering who that guy was. But anyway, I know who he was. And what else been going on? I met some other corner. I met many other guys, but. <laughs> I don't know. I think I don't be in the right places. I need. I need. I think I need to explore different regions. Okay. I be kind of in the same area, so I think I'm gonna start exploring different regions and try my look that way. But yeah, y'all, it's what 103 in the morning. I'm about to get off of here now, y'all. It's been real. I thank you guys so much again for joining me and stopping by. Um, we will be back again. Some some more of this good crinette. Y'all already know over here we kinda we are kind of weed and yes we got the we got it in this time, y'all. This little weed guy, I ain't trying to show him how much I can spin like that. You feel me? I'm trying to spin lightly with him, but I'm about to come and break him off. You feel me? I already smoked two joints out of this. It was bigger, but I kind of like the rest of it. I like mushed it back in too. It's so tight. You can't even tell. I already broke some of some of that stuff at the bottom. I already broke it. I just mushed it back up in there. It's so tight and just sticky. It's just look at it. You hear it? It's so tight. This is virgin weed. <laughs> So hardball. I got the air one. It is so, so fruity, like a nice, nice smell, like a, a good scent, like a fragrance. You feel me? It smells good, like a good OG or something. I don't know what. It's got to be some cookie, y'all. It's got to be some cookie. I'm 
telling you. It's got to be some cookie. Because it's dark hairs and got some dark green and a little orange type right hair. He just didn't say it, but I already know it is. Yes, we got some good cookie in. Some real shit, too, because you know how bad everybody said they got cookie. Goodness gracious. <laughs> that shit got me so motherfucking high. I'm so happy. Yeah, I put my shoes on. I will show y'all my feet, but I gotta dump my mat. Let me see what my mat looking like. <laughs> see, I, I, I ain't got that much grass on my feet. I mean, on my mat. I can say on my feet. I ain't even got my shoes on all the way. I don't have my shoes on all the way either. Can y'all see them? That's the shoes. That's the shoes. <laughs> uh, my ass right first, so I know I got a little tail down there. I gotta dump that mat. Oh, um, move this around. Okay. Yes, so you guys, thank you again so much for coming through. I appreciate you. You know, it's late night. Know how you do? You be up <clears throat> all night. <laughs> My voice is hoarse. I need to drink a little sip and sip before I try that move. You know she didn't smoke. She she was she say we be up all night. <laughs> that used to be my show, y'all. I'm telling y'all my age on that one. But anyway, good night. Thank you for joining in to my session, tuning into my channel. We kind of, where we got all kind of weed over here. And you know, also with that being said, y'all, so the money, y'all want to know what I'm going to be doing with all this money if I do get it from him. Well, I am going to get it. I'm going to manifest it. I'm going to get it in the safest way possible with his 27 minutes cost card. I am going to officially purchase my first product for this channel and my first product for my second channel. I'm going to invest and finally get to promote these products and start my brand and my companies. So that is what I'm excited for. And I have been looking my second, my, I already have researched product for this channel here i already researched the product i know the costs i now have available to me the um supplier for my second channel for the product i want to use and so now that i can do this i want to do a tackle both of these businesses head on together at the same time simultaneously and that is what i'll be doing with the money investing in that so I can grow this channel and I'm gonna have product for you guys so I have memorabilia and stuff like that. <laughs> and like little trinkets and things from this channel so you can have it in your home. And I will be so thankful and grateful if you guys can support me. My mama said she found a picture of me and I was like two years old. And I was like, this is up at my, my people's house. And I gotta tell her about that too. And I was like this, like, cheese and like this they said i always used to ask for money <laughs> my mom had told me that <laughs> they said i used to always go to my grandpa and ask him for a dollar a dollar please and i was young like that and they said i think that's what they said i was doing asking for somebody like me with a cute big old smile looking up with my red dress on i always wore red y'all and like even though it's crazy i'm talking about it right now in red but listen all my life i always wore red like i got like four pictures of me in a red dress different red dresses different red and white dresses so and so you know i got peoples that really didn't mess with me right you know that sweet little girl they didn't really mess with me not on my mama's side okay this one this, this is the pop side and so this was so mean to the little young child for no reason which was mine i was so cute too i was so cute i was so young 
and I didn't do anything. I was so innocent. I was just so well behaved. I was not a bad child. At that point, I was not a bad child at all. It wasn't until I got in middle school, so I started being rebellious. But as early on, like second and first, on this like when I was a little kid in third grade and fourth grade, like even fifth grade, I was like, no, I started getting a little, a little raunchy in fifth grade. But it's like fourth grade, you know, I was like a little angel, okay? And I have certain, I don't understand why aunties and uncles want to beef with nieces and nephews. And that's what me and my homeboy who on our barbecue shop was talking about. Like his uncle and him having issues where his uncle don't want him around him, his girlfriend. And he said that the uncle told him, like, oh, yeah, my girlfriend said you hit on her. That's why you can't come around. And that wasn't even true. I said either she lied because she wants you and she said that or uncle is lying because he don't want you around. He's intimidated by you. And we both agreed that either way, they just don't want you around. Okay. So, and so that's how I feel about my peeps. Okay. Like, my aunts and them, like, they have really did me so bad, so wrong. Like, as far as making sure I'm an outcast or just never even, it's just a long story. We're just making, trusting me if, as a child. If it made me feel like I wasn't good enough or something was wrong with me and you made me feel bad and I didn't feel loved by you, then that is enough for me today to know. Like, if you can make a child feel like that, bitch, I'm not about to be bothered with you. Like, an innocent child, like, I ain't do shit to you, bitch. But be me, bitch. You ain't like my mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I didn't like my mother. So the fuck what, bitch? Get over it. It's who your brother nutted in. And why I'm motherfucking here, bitch. And it sounds so creepy and gross. But <laughs> it's the truth. And it's like, bitch, get over it. So now everybody wants to be by there. Everybody love you, bitch. Bitch, you ain't never told me you love me in my motherfucking life. Bitch, you tell me I'm to listen to you and believe you now. No, and so me and him was talking about that. And, you know... People be having their agendas and stuff like that. People be in groups. You know how it is today. People be in these sororities and stuff like that. And these groups and stuff like that. You know, you just can't really trust people nowadays. You know what I'm saying? So, that on my conclusion. Like, bitch, why all of a sudden in this necessity and need and your urgent to do it? It's like you're trying to make it seem like an urgency to reconnect. And I'm not down with it. Okay? Uh, the next one. Not this one. Okay? Keep my distance. You keep, hey, I'm on the outskirts. I done got me a dang on uh, sand. Okay, I done brought some sand. I'm by the water now. I done got me some pine trees. Okay, I got me a sunshine. Okay, lawn chair, feet kicked up, coconut drink. Okay, what you think? What? Oh, yeah, I done got a saw and I'm about to ch -ch 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 -ch. saw the motherfucking land and separate myself from you and me on my own island like i'm cooling over here okay i'm motherfucking antifreeze i'm cooling over here you hear me like seriously i'm straight why you didn't want to let it come so i'll come down there to see you i always it's like 45 minutes away i come down there to see you oh now you come down there to see me what about the young girl who been yearning for y'all to come down there and see her and i didn't want to be bothered with her oh no. Okay. Oh no. And then not only that, I have a sister that they sat here and she better than her. And yeah, she's a white girl, half white girl. Mm -hmm. So you up here treating her? Oh. Mm -mm. And don't even like her mom. Don't even like her mom because she is white. But sit here and be catered to her. Like, what the fuck? And so now. Uh -uh. It's so much other stuff. Just disrespectful. I didn't even get the disrespectful stuff yet. I didn't even get the disrespectful stuff yet. I'm not going to put it out there on the internet like that though. But yeah, they just get disrespectful. So, you know. That was the old me though that they disrespected. Not the new me. The new me. It was warranted for me to turn around and bust her in her face. Put it like that. Okay. But the new me. They don't want to or meet the new me. Because this new me. I mm, pretty much speak my mind now <laughs> and say what I want to say now and just like what well, this one guy just told me just met me like I like you because you gives no fucks <laughs> he's like you just say what you want to say and pretty much I do 
the only time I buy my tongue is if some money involved or some way I'm gonna benefit from it. But other than that, um, yeah. This makeup is so cute, y'all. I'm having a palette. I'm gonna do a palette for my next channel. And for this channel, I'm gonna do some grinders. I need some weak kind of grinders. I'm I'm gonna look into getting my own label machine so I can produce my own labels, make my own graphics. And I'm looking to the way the method of shipping, how I want to get it packaged. You no, know, gotta look for a lot of stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, stay tuned for all of that, you guys. But that is what I wanted to say, y'all. I am so thankful for you guys for being subscribed, for tuning in and watching. Um, listen to me, yap on and talk. I look, at first I didn't know what I was talking about now. I just can't stop yapping. This 50 minutes in last time. I did this. It was like 55 minutes. They cut me off. They didn't even say the video. I ain't gonna let them do it to me today. Love y'all. See you later. Deuces.